Oh my god. Aloha, Lions. I'm Alex Quinn. I'm Logan Patterson. And I'm Kane Bradford. Welcome back to our weekly announcements. We have some great announcements heading your way. Pre-K had some fun when they went on their pre-K safari. Let's take a look at some of the things they did. Have you found anything? What do you see? A cheetah? What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? What you looking for? A giraffe. A giraffe. A giraffe. This, awesome at all. Thank you. this week's student spotlight is Yoandris, Soria, and Miss Lyon's second grade class. Let's take a look. Hey, I'm Hello, Mason, and I'm here with the second grade Soria. What is your name? Uh, what grade are you in? What is your favorite thing about school? Do you have any pets? Yes. What is your favorite food? What is your favorite color? What do you want to be when you grow up? We ran around the school again and asked another 10 second trivia question. Take a look at these answers. Five. Six. Four. Nine. Twenty. Hundred. <laughs> Eight. Keep trying to guess again. Six. Is it not? Uh, Four. Is it a lobster? Yes. It's like eight. No. How many? <laughs> Ten. No. <laughs> Two. Eight. No. Twelve. No. <laughs> Three. No. Six. <laughs> Keep trying. Ten. Good. Six. No. Four. Keep trying. Eight. Yeah, try again. Uh, what? Try again. Keep trying. Four. Six. How many legs does a lobster have? Ten. Ten? <laughs> How many legs does a lobster have? I'm not forgetting. I'm Eight. not forgetting. Six. Four. <laughs> Ten. Yeah. How many legs does a lobster have? Four? Keep trying. Keep trying. Two. Two. Mm -mm. Three. No. How many legs does a lobster have? Oh, you got it! How many legs does a lobster have? A lobster? A lobster? <laughs> yeah. Four? No. no. <laughs> How many legs does a lobster have? Eight. How many legs does a lobster have? Eight. Two? Yes. <laughs> How many legs does a lobster have? A lobster? Eight. Four. Yeah. Three. Two. Nine. <laughs> How many legs does a lobster have? I'm gonna go with eight. Mm -hmm. Six. No. Three? No. Four. No. <laughs> Ten? Bo Bradford, Hunter Wilson, Gracie Dobbs, Aubrey Thomas, Laura Beth Maples represented the school well at the youth leadership interviews. All five of these students received their letters, 
stating that they will pass the requirements to become members of the Jackson County Youth Leadership Program. We'd like to say congratulations to our 2019 homecoming attendants. Your ninth grade attendant is Maggie Mayo. 10th grade is Chloe Britt, 11th grade is Gracie Dobbs, and 12th grade is Carly Bolt, Golly Shaparo, and Jasmine Gilbert. Take a look at this awesome weather drawing by one of our third grade students, Lily Brock. We had this month's advocacy meeting. In this month's meeting, we learned about character building. Remember, there's a JV football game on Tuesday. Guess what, everyone? Homecoming is here. Homecoming game is Friday, September 20th set at 7 against Cedar Bluff at section. So make sure you come out and support the Lions. And what's homecoming without dress up days? Monday is Monopolize the Lions. Guys dress in ties and girls dress in pearls. Tuesday is Trouble for the Tigers. Dress in college attire. Wednesday is Send the Tigers to Candyland. Dress wacky. Thursday is Uno. We are going to win. Dress in class colors. And Friday it's Payday for the Tigers. Dress in school attire. And you cannot Forget about the parade. Homecoming parade will be at, be Thursday, September 19th at 5. There will also be a bonfire and pep rally at 7. Section is having fall festival. It will be October 10th from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock. It will be tons of fun. Don't forget, Lions, you can still join SCCLA. If you want to join, go see Miss Hutchison for details. Seniors, baby pictures are due October 1st, and senior ads must be purchased by October 30th. Also, don't forget that you can turn in box tops for extra points. We also ask that you turn in Coke tabs to support cancer patients. Thank you for tuning in to this week's weekly announcements. Healy Lions!